Dumb and stuff and give a fuck about nothing Stuck at rock bottom trying to come up on something Pumping from sundown to sun up, he hustling Vision my nigga, now get in where you fit it And see prison as just a high cost of living the life And he up, cause if you blow the dice on that OZ Darcy ain't going home tonight, that's on everything Put it on the kids and the white Been burying my folk ever since they raised the price on the coke Searching for a quick and a joke More money, more problems to cope Murky Moss, he's coming at you with a quick hit today. Get home from work. My brother's got a nice little flounder he got from today in the cooler. We're gonna chop him up and throw him on the cooker and have ourselves a little feast tonight. But uh, let's get right into it. Flounder, different than most fish because you're gonna get four fillets. One, two, three, four. So they're a bit smaller, but it's like a four, four piece chicken tender, but the best chicken tender you'll get. And we'll start off you go for the stomach, you go for the guts, you got them. So, you feel that, you just hit them with one of these. And... start here from the kiddo with the spears right where we'll start get the spine it's different than most fish because you're usually cutting here but here you got a nice little line down the middle go down Nice set of chicken tenders here instead of two fat steaks. That's the way the flounder goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles here, folks. Side, you can see the line a little better. And that's your cut line. The flounder gives you a nice, a nice 2D floor plan of where to cut, unlike other fish. So you got no excuse for butchering the fillets. Or in this case, you got no excuse not to butcher the fillets. Bottom, top. Pretty crazy. Both taste the same. It's gnarly. Come on, 
money. Take this. Guts. And boom. You got four four chicken tenders. Four of the best chicken tenders you'll ever have in your life. There you go. Funny. See ya, buddy. Catch you inside. Okay, preparation is everything. There's still some things we need to do before we throw it on the grill. First order of business. I would have done this outside, but the bugs were a little too hot to handle. Take the skin off the flounder. So, you grab the skin, and you, pr you pressure the knife down onto the board, and you hug that skin. And you just pull, cut, that easy. There you go. Now you got your, your chicken tenders right here. Next order of business. We'll move quick. Got one speed today. And that's go. Next order of business. You're going to want to dry the fish. Oh, paper towel. Dry these suckers. It's the only way you're gonna get that nice, those breadcrumbs to stick. Boom. Let that sit for a second. Next order of business. Let's make some batter here. Crack a couple eggs. Get it going. Fire it up. Why not us? All right, this is where the magic happens. First order of business, take the fillets. Nothing too crazy here, we're going salt and pepper. Just a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. One side, nothing crazy. Let the fish do the talking. Next order of business, get the pan ready. Sauce it up. Call me little Uzi Vert. Take a big old chunk of butter. Kick that thing off. Fire it up. It's gonna be butter and lemon to the rescue tonight. With a little bit of garlic. Take your little, your little chicken tender here, dip it in the egg. Okay. Boom. And here are the breadcrumbs. Dance around a little bit, dance around with it. Thingies off a bit, open up the pan. How are we? Could use a little, a little bit more butter. Turn up the volume a bit. One, two, three. Four, you know you're ready five, to go. boom. You hear the sizzle? Lay them down.
All right, the best part here. Let's see what we're working with underneath. Some of the, some of the little guy. Oh yeah, see that brown? If it's any lighter than that, it's not ready to flip yet. Oh yeah. Doesn't that, does that not look like a chicken cutlet to you? It's exactly what we're going for. Oh, yes. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh yeah, that's just what we're looking for, folks. Folks, I think we're in business. I think, I think that's just where we want them. some salt on some chicken cutlets. You got yourself a fish fry there, folks. Bon appetit. Okay, it's gonna be scorching hot. Cheers, folks. Oh, yeah. Just what we're going for. Oh, yeah. Money. How are your flounder cutlets, buddy? All right, Akon, get in here. I got a bite. Not looking my best. <laughs> You're pretty bad, actually. It was like a stud. This okay. one right here? Yeah, yeah, muck it. Tell me what you think. That's really good. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I'm not even a fish guy. It's like a, it's, cut, it's like a chicken cutlet, right? But it's just, it's just, yeah, it's nice. It's crunchy. It's soft in the middle. It's perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. I missed out my parents cook it. Not good. Mm. Tell the folks the nutritional value. So everybody, you know, everybody's trying to get on the new health wave, you know. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta supplement. You gotta take your fish oil. Look at how much fish oil is in one of those pills, and then look at how much fish oil is in a goddamn fish. That's all you need to know. Eat one of these guys. The veins start popping. The animal instincts start revving up, and you feel like you can run through a brick wall. Fish are food, not friends. Brucey, sit. Sit. Paw. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Boom. There you have it. Clean and cook. Flounder. Not bad for a Thursday night. Roll on summer. <laughs>